Several studies have shown that referees and assistant referees engage in a high level of physical activity and are exposed to a certain risk of injuries. The rate of injuries in soccer referees and assistant referees depends on several factors such as age, level of competition, position on the field, environmental circumstances, site of injury, time of injury, and sex. These injuries most commonly involve the lower extremities and typically include hamstring strains, ankle sprains, and overuse injuries of the lower back, hamstring, and the gastrocnemius Achilles tendon complex. To decrease the high risk of injuries in soccer, FIFA, the Medical and Research Center, the Santa Monica Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Research Foundation, and the Oslo Sports Trauma Research Center developed the FIFA 11 and FIFA 11 Plus Injury Prevention Program to reduce the incidence of the most common soccer injuries. There have been numerous research studies showing the effectiveness of the FIFA 11 Plus from a physiological perspective in preparing the athlete for a competition. The program has also demonstrated improvement in muscular strength as essential to injury prevention. Method This study was a randomized controlled trial conducted in Saudi Arabia. Male amateur soccer referees and soccer assistant referees officiating in the lower leagues were invited to participate in this study through the Sports Medicine Federation and Football Association. Participants were excluded if they had one of the following. The referees and assistant referees were randomly allocated to the experimental or control group. The experimental group was instructed to perform the FIFA 11 Plus referees program during one season, that is six months. The program included a standard warm-up of approximately 20 minutes at the beginning of each training session at least twice a week. Prior to the matches, only running exercises were performed, also in accordance with the manual guidelines. The control group used their usual warm-up routine which comprised any basic exercises such as standardized warm-up, including static and dynamic stretching, and aerobic components, performed before practicing or performing any physical activity to prepare the muscles for a vigorous exercise. The primary outcomes were the incidence of overall injury, initial injury, recurrent injury, injury mechanism, non-contact, and injury severity. The injury was recorded if it caused the referee and or assistant referee to be unable to participate in the following match or training sessions completely. Injury rates were summarized as the number of injuries per 1000 exposure hours for both the matches and training sessions. A secondary outcome measure was adherence to the intervention program based on the number of matches and training sessions completed by each referee. Results the description of the randomization process, the flow of participants throughout the study, and the reasons for ineligibility, and follow-up are presented in the figure. Referee training and match exposures, distribution of age, competition level, and personnel availability for managing injuries were similar for both groups. The exposures are summarized in the table. A total of nine injuries were reported across 100 referees within the experimental group in 17,834 exposure hours, however, 24 injuries were reported among 100 referees in the control group in 16,606 hours of exposure. The breakdown of the injuries based on body location, mechanism of injury, and the corresponding severity are reported in table. Participants in the experimental group showed a significant reduction in the incidence of the initial injury compared to those in the control group. The odds of sustaining an injury in the control group were greater by 3, 19 times compared to the odds in the experimental group. The results showed that the odds of referees sustaining a recurrent injury were not significantly different between the experimental and control groups. The odds of sustaining a recurrent injury in the control group were 7, 45 times higher than those in the experimental group. Injuries were classified based on severity into one of the three categories delineated as per the recommended length of time away from practice. The severity of the injury was not affected by the intervention. In other words, there was no significant difference between the groups in the severity of injuries sustained by referees. The referees were divided into three age groups, 25 to 30, 31, 36 and greater than or equal to 37 years. The incidence of injuries was not different among the three age groups. Additionally, 
there was no significant interaction between age and intervention. The referees in the experimental group completed 60 out of 78 sessions while those in the control group completed 54 out of 78 sessions. The binary logistic regression analysis indicated no significant differences in adherence rates between the experimental and control groups. The odds of adherence to the intervention in the control group were 0, 74 times lower than those in the experimental group.